soybean is an important crop in Africa because we know that um, basically it is a rich source of protein and for this reason it is used by farmers and of, of course by people in different populations for human consumption because it can be able to supply proteins and so it can give a solution to malnutrition especially among uh, women, nursing mothers and also, uh, and also children. Soybean is also an important crop because of its ability to capture nitrogen from the atmosphere. It's able to in improve soil fertility. Soybean rust was first um, reported in Africa in 1996 in Uganda, but it has so far spread across most of the soybean growing areas in Africa. When soybean rust infects, it causes lesions on the soybean leaves, and these lesions uh, are able to reduce the photosynthetic um, uh, efficiency of soybean. This means that the plant or the leaf will not be able to produce enough food that is required for seed formation and also for pot, uh, yeah, pot, pot filling and also flowering. And this now will reduce the size of seed, can also reduce the number of seeds, and these are components that contribute to yield loss. And so one of the solutions that is used for protecting against this soybean rust is uh, the use of fungicides and um, but uh, this is mostly used in the, in the developed world like Brazil and, and America and also in Africa the large-scale farmers are using them but the problem is that uh, these fungicides increase the, 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 the cost of production and also they have the problem of uh, of, um, I mean they have environmental because environmental risk and, and health issues the best control option that has been uh, shown so far is use of resistant varieties however there is no commercial soybean variety that has been released because soybean rust is uh, a highly variable disease in terms of its pathogenicity and also in, in terms of its virulence so in this case we want to look at how we can be able to come up with a variety that is able to resist all soybean uh, races that probably may, might be present in any given region we are working with two blends foundation which is uh, based in america and two blends has been working on using the new technologies that have been developed resistant varieties that have i mean resistant genes that have been uh, have been discovered in different research we are looking at gene pyramiding where we will stack at least three different genes that can be able to give us um, soybean durable uh, soybean rust resistance and these varieties can be released to farmers and the farmers can be able to use them we 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 we, we hope that through this method we can be able to provide a solution that will be sustainable for the farmers to be able to, to continually increase the productivity of soybean and for them to have improved livelihoods and also improved incomes and food, uh, uh, food, um, yeah, you know, food security to ensure that they have sustainable soybean production.